Yep, I'm at it again. Brian and I are gonna go do a road trip and uh, go pick up another, uh, something I offered uh, a long time ago, I just never picked up. And then the uh, seller, uh, as far as what I heard, is uh, looking to uh, clean up this property and get the stuff gone. So we are gonna go retrieve it. Trailer's all set up, air and everything, got ramps, got spare tires. How you digging the uh, Corvette trim rings on a trailer? need the hubcaps. There's my bumper. Nice. Getting closer. Let's watch my mirror over there, make sure I don't tweak his porch. Yeah, we either go pull it from the front or from the back. Yes. I would have to get out and see, sir. Yeah, we're gonna. We'll go forward first and see how it looks. There he is. Is that the swamp? He's cleaning out all the good stuff. Now you get the brush out of the way. Yeah, him. Yeah, whether they take air or not, or there's even a bottom of a rim yet. Is... Yeah. <laughs> it's the in thing nowadays, don't you know? Yeah. Do you want to give it a name on its way gone? Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you do that. <laughs> you were able to get the, the passenger's door open through the wing window, right? Yeah. Yeah. Were we able to get this one open by any chance? I didn't try. Be easier to steer. Careful. Will the window roll down? The, uh, the whole thing is moving. How about that guy? The whole little box is moving around, so I don't I, We might have tried before. We might have, yeah. I think I, that and the bees were starting to get us. Or the bees. You're getting close. That's half the battle. You think it's going to turn? <laughs> there you go. At least I can touch the wheel now from this area. Say 70 something? 76? And they had they said it had a rebuilt engine in it, so I don't know what they did with it. And I put uh, hundred thousand miles in it. It's moving. Oh yeah, it's going we're, up. We're not gonna push our luck though. We're gonna try to keep her around five PSI. I've done yeah. this I've done this game before. Oh no, I put too much in it? Yeah, yeah they just go kafui. And dirt fits in your eyes and yeah, scares the crap out of you. Come on right back out. <laughs> See if it'll pop out of the hole. Or, or maybe it'll come into two. Yeah. Either way. Good thing 
good. One more. There we go. The wheels aren't turning, but she's out. That's good. It might be in gear. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. The front tires are in gear. Front, front left was turning. The back is wasn't. I'm pretty sure it was neutral. See how much DNA got left behind. You been looking for that golf ball? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna be the drag, Brian. I think we're gonna drag it up. That's fine. So we go for Pink Floyd was the one? Got spare snow tires, you just gotta put them on those rims, we're good. There's a cop right back there too. Though. Is there? Right behind, yeah, right. Oh, good. There's some gas, oil, uh, and oil change gaskets. Uh. Yeah, I don't know if I trust them. Left his headlights on. I don't know what the battery's going to be Yeah. No. Oh boy. Nobody's running though. What eight tracks in the player? I can't read it. Can you read any of the others? Where's the wall? In nope. Pink Floyd was a survivor. Everybody else, not so much. Whenever you would like to do your thing. I'm getting, I'm thinking about <laughs> it really You're, uh, right now. you're uh, ready to go. Getting ready to sweat. Some guys say I should put an electric winch on that. You know when the truck is going closer to the vehicle, <laughs> that, it's that yeah, it's kind of going the wrong way. It's coming. Yeah, no. How much tension do you want me to put on that camera? Is there a lot right now? Yeah. Um, I wonder if maybe we should rig the winch in the back of the truck up to it. Like an assist, or maybe back the truck up a little and see if you can we can get what we can get. get I have a uh, come along I, from I don't know if we get maybe it's 3, 500 pounds or something. I mean, worst case, I, there's a 10,000 pound winch on the front of the truck. I'll spin the truck around and we'll get it on one way or another. But let me uh, try backing the truck up. I think I could walk this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. or I'm gonna trip over it. Well, I might save you. I have a feeling the ramp is just going to either pop out or dig in, but we'll see. Okay. It's going under. did go under. Yeah, I think they just dug right in though now. So the trick seems to be we're jacking up the ass in on boards. And uh, winching up as far as we can. And try it again. Gut's good, Brian. Okay. I think we should get uh, some kind of to put behind the front tire too so when it I got that. I'll use one of the wheels right here. High tech setup. That's all this. 
sketchy. Want to reset the back? We have a plan. I think it's the ramp is in the wrong spot. They're off the ground. Hold on one sec. Give her a shot again. I got a little wooden boat that I pulled with mine once. Nothing Did you damage Chuck? I saw you run. Well, it looked, the handle went for the window. Ah. I'm going to try and straighten out the truck in the trailer now. It's like a little bit better of a pull. Sounds like a plan to me. As I said, we just put wheels on the end of the ramps. We're good. <laughs> just sparks. What was that uh, Clint Eastwood movie with a, she's driving a tow truck with the bug dragon behind it and there's nothing left by the end. Progress, another five feet we need. That's good. That that don't matter. Yeah. Almost there. It's on. Probably go another two feet or so because it's going to be doing a wheelie on the way home. I've been pushing on the back. I saw. <laughs> she was rocking. Ramps on now. Yeah, they just drag them. Your door is a jar. Got it. There you go. Now that we're facing it downhill, you should pull the last a little bit. Good. Now we could tie her down. It's a little kitty wampus, but fine. Nineteen twenty-eight. Fuel LaSalle, flathead eight cylinder, wood wheels, and this is a parts one for one that he has in the garage. See if you get peaky in there, can you see anything? All right, go get my back bumper, go home. We're back to the main office. I think we're going to name this one Mr. Moss. Mr. Moss. 
So, this is why this is going to be a parts bus. Because there's just nothing left underneath. Ten years from now, people are going to be restoring these. <laughs> but as for right now, for me, this is a, a plentiful bit of parts for other projects. The front beam actually looks good. You see they rot out. Right bottom here. So we whack out it with a hammer, we'll definitely find out. But well, there's your frame. So I think I'm gonna go take a little bit of time and see what we can do as far as popping some of these hatches and latches open and see what we got on the inside. That ain't opening. That ain't opening without a little bit of help. So let me go get a pry bar and have at her. Found the key. combination lock. still works. Amazing. Sometimes you just need a block of wood. Or two. There's a rim in there. Guess that's where you keep your spare. Like, we'll take you in there. All right. Got a plug for towing. It should be a 1600 single port, which it looks like it is. Everything seems to be fairly stock on it. She looks really clean. And this is probably one of the uh, the better parts of it too, whether it is uh, in decent shape or not, we don't know, but it's a decent motor. Sorry, engine. 
You guys first. Let's go in. Go in. Studied snows. Might be good. No, that might be a little hard to get into. We need to get ourselves a pen or something and poke inside there. Let's go look. Oh my. Uh, that was a good hiding spot for some critters. <laughs> no, later date. Bees nest. What do you say? We try lifting the top. It just lets the air right in. A couple of patches. We're good. Rust free up here. Alright. Let's where else should we look? Dare I flip that seat up? Just one big nest. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Think I got it. You guys want to dig through the bottom of that? Let me know what's in there. I'm going out. The boss is here. Red Lily? You gonna boss me around? You gonna go catch the mice that come running out? Something under there. Color's red. Right. Wait, see, we put a battery in. See, if she starts. Got a jumper pack hooked to the leads. Let's see if anything does anything. Yeah, the hazards are on. Hey, let's go crank. Anybody go running? Well, I'm gonna go put a mask on. And we're gonna blow a bunch of that crap out of the way.
I know he said he drove it there, but the condenser is out of its hole flapping around. So I'm not quite sure what the deal is with that. What the heck is that for a rotor? Is that one of those ones with a built-in governor? Yes, it is. That is an original rotor. And what it would do, the center of this is spring-loaded. It would spin, it would come out and short out and touch that. And uh, be a governor for the bus. That is the original one that probably came with it. Popping off the cap, I do notice the original rotor is uh, rotor. The original capacitor is still on there too. So I don't know if they were trying to put just an extra one on there, maybe for noise suppression. Not sure. So I say we put that and that together. Pull that back on. And it is for shits and giggles. Why don't we dump a little bit of fuel in it and see? happens. I don't think that jumper pack has enough snot to spin it fast enough, but let's give it a try. It's got gas in it. Likely it does not have spark, but. So I added a battery charger. I hooked the test light up, the key's on, and you guys can see that the light is lighting up. So power is getting to the coil, but we don't know if the signal is turning on and off from the points. So I have Brian coming over momentarily, and uh, he's gonna be the guy that spins the key for me so I can be back here and uh, fondle it gently and see if we can get her to go. So I got my handy helper here. He is going to, hold on a sec, he's going to turn the key when I tell him to, but we're going to go probe the point, the condenser side. All right, Brian, go ahead. Nothing. Hmm. All right, hold on. I probably lost my jumper pack. Bump it. Hold it. All right. Where was I? I needed hot, so that has to go on the hot side. It doesn't really matter. There we go. And go ahead. Okay. So the signal is breaking on and off. But I'm fighting for juice. I guess see if we can get ourselves a better setup for a battery. So I put a plug on the end of it and give it a nice little spark. Why don't you uh, give her a crank there, sir? It's a battery charger on that battery. So I ripped that thing out of there. I'm not quite sure what the purpose was of that. But we eliminated that and hooked the wire up to like it should be. So we're gonna go give her another shot. See if anything happens. Nothing? I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Hey, hold on. Put a plug back in it, see if we got anything. Crank her again. This is spark, but it's light. Okay, hold on.
Where's the go juice? Where'd the little bottle of go juice go? I got her. Chua, hit it again, Sam. One of the valves is stuck open, I can hear it. Alright. Should I give her a spin? All that. <laughs> Nothing. There we go. That. Just no booms on any of the cylinders. All right. We tried. Let's see. Let get a tire off. Get Bertha. Bertha. Good luck getting them off on the side of the road. Not what I do. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah, I say that brake drum ain't gonna turn very easy. The flex is to go break to back the brake off. That's the adjusting pull for it, and you get a spoon in there and turn it back. I don't think that's gonna happen. To beat it with a hammer, though, and a hammer. If you parked it with the emergency brake on. Don't breathe that. What do you say we give her a little Johnson action?
certainly moves. Getting somewhere. I'll work that back and forth. Getting there. I put the uh, transmission fluid down in the hole. Should be good enough. Maybe I'll dump a little bit more oil in there, and uh, so the future that it won't bind back up again. Just want to get so it yard rolls. That's one side done. Oiled up the front brake too. Nothing like oil in your brakes. <laughs> they spin decent, decent enough again for uh, getting it on and off the trailer. And that's the spare that was in it. And the other side, I don't know if I've kind of run out of gas. Let me kind of leave it for tomorrow, but we've got to kind of jack that sucker up and uh, it's a little close to the trailer there. So might want to uh, roll it back or forward or sideways or something. I think they said this one was possibly starting to roll, but I do see the dirt spot is still right on the bottom. So it's still up in the air. Again, this is a parts bus. So why don't we go turn it on? Turn it on, start it up, right? So why don't we uh, go turn the key on? And we'll see kind of like what works. Oops. Oh, yeah, right in. Get generator light. We don't have an oil light. No horn. We already saw that the hazards were flashing. You think wipers? I don't think so. I know it's got a good wiper motor. What else we got here? I think that's rid of frost. Directionals. Nothing. Stew headlights or radio. The radio's on. See what we got for lights. Oh, that's a reader. Reader for us. Lights up. That should be interior light. That's what that should be. Nope. Not happening. Alright, see what we got for lights on the outside. Got a headlight. It's like it's starting to smoke. Yeah, she's going bad. Not long for this world. That side market light's working. That one's working. That one's not smoking. catch it go poof like little things floating around inside it you see that see if you got anything out back nothing right. let's give her one more attempt at uh, fire The plug's got to come out of it, and uh, I have a feeling they're probably really fouled, and chest the valves and all that kind of happy stuff, but we'll do that another day. Well guys, I think we're going to wrap this one up here. Sure, it's uh, probably gotten fairly long, and uh, looks decent. Uh, the price of the bus was 200 bucks, and uh, the bumpers alone are worth that to me. So, 
there'll be plenty of parts to pick on this. It's got a good uh, uh, engine to work with as far as uh, a desired motor. It is a bus motor, not a bug motor. Meaning it's got the uh, mustache bar mount built into the block. And it's supposed to be a factory rebuild. Not quite sure of that, but you should get the sun out of your eyes. Lovely. I think I'll let it sit overnight and uh, we'll see if either of these two tires decide to go flat on this side while I'm over here. And if so, I will uh, take those two snow tires that are in it and mount them on some rims and make it so that this is has some kind of future to uh, be able to be rolled around and moved around. He's a crispy one. All right, guys. Again, thank you everybody for watching, uh, commenting, and subscribing. See you later. Thank you. 